Welcome, everybody. Now, this may surprise you. The goddess doesn't serve in the let me take care of you mode. The goddess brings magic. The goddess brings juice. But the goddess is not here, let me put your slippers on. Here, let me make your dinner. Here, let me wash your clothes. Here, let me do everything for you. Mm -mm. Much of the caretaking that is thought of as feminine is actually masculine doing. So when a woman is a servant to a man, he's not going to see her as a goddess because doing for him is masculine. And if you've been a mother, I want you to feel how a lot of that doing wasn't really feminine. It was masculine. A goddess's allure is magnetic. It's leaning back and allowing yourself to be adored. Even in business, that energy, that vortex is so much easier for you as a woman when you transition into doing your business more like this. It's just so much more energizing for you and less exhausting. The reason I'm bringing this physical element into this is because you can't do this in your brain. You can't do this in your head. Because your most feminine self is not mental. Your most feminine self is in your body and it's vibrational but it's not a thought process and it's not a mental process. I had screen shared some images for you and this is two different kinds of goddesses. This is sort of how we mature as we age in how we think of a goddess. As we mature, I think this is more the energy that we're going for. So the type of goddess that I'm talking about is our wisdom and our inner power. It will be most powerful if you make this almost like a secret with you and your large self at first, especially. And many of us played the successful professional and we may have played that role really, really well and mastered it. But that role does not usually feed our femininity. Yet sometimes we have to do it and we can do it well. Embodying that masculine energy a lot actually drains a woman because our feminine side is not being fed. And I just thought of a funny story. I was taking care of some legal problems with uh, one of my brothers that was not good for my mom and represent, you know, helping her and her lawyer handle all of that. And I was dealing with the bureaucracy of the company that owned the senior center she was living in that was not doing what they should have been doing. And here's what I noticed about me during that time. <laughs> it started to express in who I was being. And mom pointed out one day I was wearing dresses, but she said, you're walking like a man. You need to look at how you're walking. And I thought about it and I went, you know what? You're right. I'm walking like a bodyguard. <laughs> it was so funny how that expression.
expressed externally. Ah, stepping back into a more feminine vibration. And the whole thing was very draining. I did it and I did it well, but it was draining. I did it so well that her senior center paid us $2,000 to go away. <laughs> so I was laughing that, boy, when I get in my masculine mode, people pay me to go away. <laughs> so I can do it, but it's not energizing. See, a man would be energized by that. What we're energized by as women is magnetizing it. And the, I, and I use that too at, at that time. And what else I noticed during that time is that it was affecting my relationship with Scott. I was in that get it done mode and wasn't present in my feminine with him as much. Men don't realize it, but they feed on that. They need you in your feminine. They need you to bring that feeling, sensual, softer nature to the relationship. When there are two masculine forces in a relationship, it's like this. Even if there are two women or two men, Somehow that polarity has to feed each other or they bounce off and it doesn't last. We'll move toward the third meeting more about your power in the world, but first you've got to get it in here. So this is our little secret, okay? You can develop your air of mystery as you let this be just you and your large self knowing and our group knowing about this. This video is just a taste of what's possible for you after you've learned to tap into your feminine goddess power. Welcome to the juiciest and most pleasurable time of your life.